Hey guys, this is Jared with Express Screen, and I'm excited today to bring you this video uh, because we're, we've introduced a new machine. Uh, we've got our GoCo Pro 2536, uh, our QS2536 as we're calling it. Um, this is, if you guys have seen our, 20, our uh, QS200 machine, it's very similar to it. Um, the biggest difference is going to be that with this machine here, the 2536, we're going to be using an 18 inch thermal print head uh, and it is one solid print head rather than on the QS200 we have the 4 inch thermal print head that moves across the screen. This one is one constant print head so it makes it uh, a little bit faster for it to uh, expose a large image. So in order to uh, use the machine I'm going to be using our uh, 21 by 23 uh, just quick tension frames. We use these also with the QS200. So we're just going to insert our frame down in here. This, uh, the machine itself, it's actually you can fit different size frames, lengths in it, um, as long as you know you've got this butted up to the end of the frame, uh, you would be able to use it. The large, largest frame for this machine is going to be 25 by 36 outside dimensions. That's where the name comes from. So. Um, and with that 25 by 36 frame, it's going to yield you an image size capable of about 18 inches wide by up to 30 inches long. So we close down the, uh, the right roller down on top of the mesh. And just like with our other uh, exposure systems that are direct to screen, this is directly USB, directly into the machine, we go to our computer and we go to File and Print or Control P and I've got everything set up so I just hit print and what happens is, is via USB that image is going to be sent directly into the machine okay now the image that we're using here some of you may have seen it uh, at a trade show this is actually it's a picture of an elderly gentleman or an old man um, and it's actually a JPEG image and so what the machine what the GoCo Pro series does um, is it'll actually take that JPEG rasterized image and it'll automatically on the board of the machine through the print driver on the computer it will actually take that that rasterized image and it'll convert it into halftones for us automatically okay so very slowly you'll see the arm moves down the frame and what's happening is is that thermal print head that's down on the bottom underneath the screen is touching our heat sensitive side of our mesh. If you've noticed from other uh, videos that we've done, our mesh is very, very unique in the fact that it comes pre-coated um, with a, a heat sensitive layer. It's manufactured with that on there. So what happens is, is when that thermal print head runs across the frame, it heats up wherever our image is that's sent directly from the computer. And so where it heats up, it's actually going to remove that coating, therefore opening the screen. One of the cool things about the QS2536 compared to the QS200 or even the GoCo Pro 100 uh, is, is this machine actually has the ability to do what's called double perforation. So what that means is it's actually able to put two halftone dots inside the grid of mesh. So your threads of mesh are going vertically and horizontally and rather than just one halftone dot to be able to be put in there, you're able to actually put two in there with this machine. Therefore, our resolution on the machine goes from the possibility at the, at the QS200 of 600 uh, DPI. This machine actually gives you the ability to go upwards to 1200 perforated DPI uh, and get a little bit better resolution out of, this, out of the images. So once it has reached all the way down to the end of your frame, it will actually stop and return back to what we call the home position. Once it's back to the home position, then we're ready. We can take our screen out and probably very faintly you can see the, uh, the image there in the screen. So that's a fully exposed screen that we're now ready to take over to the press and print. Alright, so here we are, we're here at the press. I've already went ahead and I mounted our frame in, into the press and went ahead and put some ink on it. 
And now I'm going to show you what this actually, what this image looks like. So we're just going to take some ink here, pull back across. And so there is our halftone image. And so you can see the detail that we're able to get, you know, the wrinkles in the eyes and things like that. The reason why I'm able to do that is partially because of that double perforation that I just talked about. Being able to put two dots in the space of normally one dot is going to give you just that, that much more resolution. So we'll just take this, we'll throw this on the dryer and cure that. And uh, if you guys have any other questions about the QS2536 or any of our exposure systems uh, or techniques, um, please give us a call here in the office. Again, my name is Jared. Uh, I do all the tech support and the training as well as all the, the different videos. Um, so if you guys have questions, be more than happy to help you or anybody here in our office. Give us a call. It's 800-597-9530. Thanks and have a great week.